Hello Dungeon Masters, my name is Liana May. Today is April 14th, 2012. Today I thought I would do a tutorial on how to make weapons and armor in RPG Maker 2. Now I'm not the best person to explain uh, battle systems and how battle works, uh, but I will try my best. I'm still a bit fuzzy on that whole thing in RPG Maker 2. Um, but anyways, the first thing that we're going to do is go to beginner mode so that we can load preset data, as always, and switch to hard mode so that we can edit the data. I'm also going to change the tempo of the background music because <clears throat> I'm using an emulator and uh, the, the emulator is set at turbo mode so the background music is going faster than it should. I'm gonna go to game items, create new data. I'm gonna start off by creating some armor, so I'll just call it plate mail. Armor in RPG Maker 2 is the easiest type of item to create. So I'm not sure if plate mail is one word or two words. I think it's one. Uh, under the custom tab, under detail, we have uh, the buy and sell settings. Um, this is how much the plate mail is worth. Under type, these are types of items. It's going to be body armor. Used, the used tab is mainly for potions and bombs and... Uh, you know, things of that nature. We aren't going to use this tab, so you can ignore that. Equipped. These are attributes, and um, you can modify the attributes that are either increased or decreased upon equipping the plate mail. Usually, when you equip armor, your armor rating goes up. So I'm going to modify that, make it 50, so that when you equip the plate mail, your armor class is going to go up by 50 points. And if you want to, you can edit these attributes as well. Indirect effect is an additional effect uh, upon equipping the plate mail. Off the top of my head, the only example I can think of uh, for an indirect effect is that when you equip plate mail, um, let's just say that it'll make make it so that when you kill monsters, your experience will go up by a little bit more than what it usually goes up by. Uh, that would be an example of an indirect effect. There are so many different kinds of indirect effects. There's an infinite um, number of ideas that you can think of, um, but for now, that's the only idea I can think of. Uh, <clears throat> the Members tab, these are who. This is who can equip the armor. So, for example, if you don't want Valerie to be able to equip the plate mail, you can deselect the checkbox. Alternatively, you have the Classes tab, and this is which class can equip the armor. So if you don't want a wizard to be able to equip the plate mail, you can deselect that checkbox. We're done creating armor. That's how you create armor in RPG Maker 2. It's so simple. You just give it a name, and then modify the attributes, and you're done. Creating weapons, however, is a little bit more complex. Let's create new data. Under the basic tab, let's give it a name. I'm just going to call it Pointless Sword. And under Custom, under Detail, I'll just give it a value for fun. And then under Type, of course it's going to be a weapon. We're going to ignore the used tab. That's usually. Uh, that's mainly used for potions and bombs and 
you know, whatnot. Uh, equipped. Okay, so if you want to, I think there are there are a number of ways you can modify the the attack rating for any specific weapon. One of the ways to do this is to modify the attack attribute here. So the more I increase this attack attribute, the more the character is going to attack, uh, the more damage will be dealt to the enemy. Now, to be completely honest with you, I have no idea how the attack attribute influences damage, influences the damage rating. Um, all I know is that the more attack you give, the more damage it deals, and the less attack, the less damage it deals. But that doesn't necessarily mean that that's the damage rating. Don't be confused with the attack rating and damage rating. Um, a the attack is influencing the amount of damage that you're dealing. I think there's a formula set up uh, in a script called Battle, battle Formula, I think. Uh, I'm not 100% sure about that. Um, so don't quote me on that. Uh, indirect effect... Oh wait, I already explained that, didn't I? Indirect effect. Um, anyways, let's continue. Let's go to the Attack tab. Under the Attack tab, you have three different things. Direct effect, indirect effect, and property. I'm going to explain property first. Uh, to the best that I can. I'm not really sure what property is. Uh, I'm guessing it's kind of like... Uh, you can sort of think of it as the type of weapon, but not really. I think property serves as uh, a thing for resistances. Like, for example, some enemies are more resistant towards slashing weapons, and some are more resistant towards bows bow and arrows. I think that's what it's for, but I'm not 100% sure about that. Uh, it's not too important anyways. I don't think it really matters. Uh, direct effect is the most important thing when creating a weapon. Direct effect, in the context of a weapon, is the thing that calculates how much damage you're going to deal using that weapon. And that is so important. If you don't have a direct effect for your, for your weapon, then it's not going to deal any damage at all. So it's important that you have a direct effect. You can use preset data if you want. You can apply, you know, something like axe or dagger, club, mace, iron sword. You can do that if you want. Or you can create your very own direct effect, which I'll show you how to do. Indirect effect is an additional effect. It's optional. Off the top of my head, an example of an indirect effect would be um, when you attack an enemy, it applies poison to the enemy. So that would be an, an additional effect. That would be an example of an indirect effect. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not going to explain in depth how to create an indirect effect. Maybe I'll do that, do that in another tutorial. I'm going to exit out of here and create a direct effect for our weapon. Go to game, direct effects, create new data, and give it a name. I advise you to use the same name as the weapon to avoid any confusion. Unless, uh, you, it is possible that you could recycle direct effects so I guess it's okay if you make one direct effect and use it for multiple um, weapons. Under custom, under settings, you have type, which of course is going to be offense. Now, this is where it gets really confusing for me personally. Um, rate and success, I really have no idea how those influence exactly how those influence the direct effect. According to the guide, in the context of a weapon, rate is supposedly how much damage the weapon deals, so it directly correlates to 
the damage that you deal. It's, it's, it has nothing to do with the attributes of the character. It's the amount of damage that the, that, that, that the weapon deals. Excuse me, I'm stuttering. Uh, however, off camera, I tested this out and I, I made the rate go up to 500 and I battled some monsters and the weapon didn't deal anywhere near 500 damage. It dealt something like 46 damage. So I think really you can ignore rate. It doesn't really matter what, what this value is set at. However, it is possible to correlate rate with damage using scripts, but I'm not going to show you how to do that in this tutorial. Uh, maybe in another tutorial uh, if I get around to it. Success is another one of those things that I really have no idea how it influences the direct effect. As far as I know, success is the uh, chances of hitting the monster. So if I put it at 90%, I, I guess it's a 90% chance of hitting the monster and a 10% chance of missing the monster. But how does that influence battle systems? Like, for example, you have to keep in mind that there are different kinds of enemies and different kinds of enemies have different kinds of attributes. And Agility, for example, would influence how successful you are at hitting that monster because if they're more agile, then you're going to have a harder time hitting them. You see what I mean? So I really have no idea how this success setting influences the direct effect. If I were you, I would just set it at 100%. Um... Or maybe, maybe just like 90% or something. I really have no idea. Uh, target. Okay, so the, the target selected will be the enemy, of course, because you're attacking the enemy. And then I'm going to keep it very simple here and just make it so that you're attacking a single enemy. Alternatively, you can make it so that weapons attack uh, groups of enemies or a random enemy but I'm just going to make it a single enemy. Directing. Okay, so directing these, all these, are visual effects. Uh, that's all it is, really. It's just a visual effect. So success would be what happens when you successfully hit a monster. It's going to show you um, a visual effect. And it's optional, you don't really need it. It doesn't... It doesn't really... influence the functionality of the battle system. So you can keep it at none, but if you, if you really want to add a visual effect, you can create your own, or you can use preset... Um, a preset... Well, let me look at my notes here. Um, Directing. Oh wait, my notes doesn't have it. Uh, I'm just gonna have to look for it manually. Let's see if I can find it. Oh, here we go. These right here, like blunt, spear, impale, boomerang. These are these are system events, and they're visual effects. So you can choose any one of these. I'm just gonna choose slash one. And for critical. Uh, wait, did I? Slash 1, 309, and for fail, I'm going to select 309. So this is what happens when you successfully hit the monster. This is what happens when you land a critical hit, and this is what happens when you fail. They're just visual effects. You don't need them. They're optional. I can't stress that enough. Uh, the, re the reason why I can't stress that enough is because... For me, it was really confusing what these actually do. It turns out they don't really do anything other than just showing you um, some visual effects. Okay, here's what, where it gets really interesting. Uh, advanced Flow 1 
Turn start, turn end, check start, check fail. You don't need those, those are optional. Those are usually for, like, spells, but they're not really used for weapons. Effect start is what happens when the effect starts. I know that doesn't really help, but, um... Um... Effect start is... Uh, a, uh... A message. That's all it is, really. It's just a message that says... Liana May starts to attack, dot dot dot. And as such, it's optional and you don't need it. But... If you want to add something, uh, there's a, a pre-made system event called Attack Start. 00033 is the ID number for that. So Effect Start is optional, you don't need it. Counter, -atta counter Attack is optional, you don't need it. It's a message that displays that says um, the enemy counterattacks dot dot dot. That's really all it is. Um, so, uh, all these things here, these are all optional. You don't need them. They don't change the functionality of the battle system. However, Flow 2, Success Check. This is extremely important, uh, Flow 2, s Success Check. This is absolutely essential, uh, that you apply this system event called let me see if I can find it battle formula 0204 you can create your own battle formula um, battle formula is a script that determines how much damage you deal and also um, it calculates a lot of different things I'm not really sure I know damage, how much damage you deal, is one of those calculations. And it also calculates dodging, uh, the chances of dodging. If you don't have this su su success check, then it's not going to... Um, it's not going to work properly. That's all I can tell you. Uh, result success is uh, essential. This is what happens when you successfully attack a monster, and, uh, there's a preset system event called Attack Success 0035. What this does is it displays a message that says, uh, you successfully attacked the monster, and it also reduces the enemy's HP. So in that manner it's essential because if you don't have that then the enemy the enemy's hp is not going to reduce meaning that no matter how many times you hit the enemy uh they're eight they're never gonna die so critical is pretty much the same thing the only difference is that it reduces the enemy's hp by a little bit more um let's see if i can find this system event Attack critical, 0036. I think this is optional. I'm not 100% sure on that. I'm, I'm guessing it's optional, but I'm not sure. Custom is optional. I know that. You don't need custom. I'm not really sure what custom is. Fail is optional. Fail is a message that says you missed. You don't need it, but if you want to apply a system event for it, there's... Uh, let me look at my notes. <clears throat> okay, there's something called Attack Failure 0037. Dodge is optional. You don't need it. It's just a message that says the enemy dodged your attack. And... 0038 is the ID for that. And we're done creating the direct effect. Let's update data and exit. And go to items. Pointless sword. Custom, attack, direct effect. 
and apply the direct effect. It's as simple as that, and update. And we're done. We created some armor and we created a weapon. All we need to do now is test the game. Um, I'm gonna go to party members, go to my main character, and give him an item. Oh, and equip. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna take these characters out of the party. And we're gonna test the game. So, I have my pointless sword, which gives me 30 attack, I think. And then plate mail, which gives me 50 armor. So let's go out into the wilderness and fight some slimes. Oh, we got a battle. Okay. So I'm gonna do a regular attack. The slime. I attacked him. 43 points. The, uh, the weapon attack, you remember uh, when I created the item, the attack attribute was set at plus 30. But like I said before, I don't know how that influences the damage that you deal to enemies. I have no idea. Um, rate for direct effects has a direct correlation towards damage, but for some reason I couldn't get that to work. Uh, let me experiment with that right now. What I'm gonna do is... I wanna see if this works. I'm just curious. Maybe I did something wrong in the past, I don't know. I'm gonna set attack to zero. For the pointless sword. And... Go to game, direct effects. Pointless sword. Custom. Okay, I'm gonna press start to bring up the guide. And look what the guide says. Rate is how effective the direct effect is. Okay. The figure you set here can, can serve for a variety of purposes such as HP recovered from a heal spell or damage delivered by a weapon. See that? It says damage delivered by a weapon, which means that what, what that should mean is that the higher this is, the more damage the weapon deals, and the lower it is, the less damage it deals. So, let's test that theory. And I'm just gonna go way up high to a thousand. So it should deal a thousand damage. And update that. If this doesn't work, then I don't know what will. <laughs> I know that you can edit that in the script. You can you can tell the script that you want the rate to be correlated with the damage. Um, but let's see. Thirteen damage. That's nowhere near a thousand. So we know that that's not working, so, uh, I don't know. Um, that's pretty much the end of the the excuse me, I'm stuttering. The tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and thank you for requesting this tutorial. Um, and that should be the end of it. I'm gonna do some extra stuff. You can decide to stick around if you want to. I'm just gonna fool around. Um, let me see. 
I'm gonna go to scripts. Here's the battle formula if you're interested. Uh, go into scripts, into the script database, and look for a script called Battle Formula. The ID for that is 216. And this is the script that calculates how much damage you're dealing, and also the chances of dodging an enemy's attack. Based on the script, the minimum uh, chance of dodging is 1%, and the maximum chance of dodging an enemy's attack is 50%. So, this is like way over my head. It's a really huge script with a lot of... It, it does have a lot of notes that tell you um, what each little thing does. However, it's still kind of a bit confusing for me. I might have to take some time to go over this and read it uh, line by line just to see if I can make any sense of it. I don't suppose it talks about rate in this script, does it? Maybe it does. See, there's this variable called... I'm not sure where it is. Let me go to the beginning. Um... Damage rate. This variable is the A value that is used in the script that calculates damage. Uh, I don't think that's it. Uh, I think there's... I'm trying to find it. Uh, Oh, here it is. Direct rate. This vari variable is the rate of the direct effect. So what you can do is you can uh, take, take that rate and do something with it. Um, hold on here. So, so yeah, there's the battle formula if you want to look at it. Now I'm going to do something else. I'm going to take a look at some of the other direct effects. Uh, as you can probably tell, I don't have much experience with battles and battle systems and creating weapons and armor and all that junk. I know the basics of it, but I don't know... I don't know exactly what it's doing. It's very important that you know what... what each little thing does. See here... The rate is set at 3, so what that should mean is that the club does 3 damage. Um, but how does it know... How does it know to do 3 damage? Because there has to be a script that connects the rate with the amount of damage that you deal. You know what I mean? Success. I have an idea. What if I gave my party member a club? Club. Whoops. And also equip club. And also let me make sure that the club doesn't have any additional things on it. Uh, see, it, it gives it an attack rating of 8. Maybe, I don't know about this, but maybe attack and rate are correlated. Maybe based on how much the attack is, it changes... I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking too hard. I don't... I really have no idea. Okay, so I have a club. Now I'm gonna go out into the wilderness. Okay. Last time I did how much damage? 
I did 14 when the attack was zero for the point for the pointless sword the attack was zero and the rate was at a thousand and I did 14 damage but this time the attack attribute is set at zero and the uh, rate is set at three so maybe I'll do 17 damage who knows Wait, did I already attack? Or was I ambushed? Oh, I wasn't really paying attention. 10 damage? That That's less than what I did last time. That doesn't make any sense. I, I am totally stumped on this. I have no idea. Like, basically what I'm trying to figure out is how does rate in the direct effect correlate to the amount of damage that you deal. If anybody knows, could you leave a comment in the in the in the uh, on YouTube, please? That would be very great. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and my failage. Goodbye.